Three clear signs the spirit of poverty is attacking you. Awareness is the first step towards transformation. That's why I will be showing you three clear signs you might be under attack by the spirit of poverty. And if you recognize any of these signs within yourself, do not ignore, but act fast to cancel it. Oh, the fridge is empty. What's going on? Does it mean there's no food in this kitchen? This is serious. Honey, you are here. I didn't know when you came in. Yes, it's not quite long I came in. Shh. How was your day? It was a bit hectic. But thank God I'm home now. Meanwhile, I came here straight, didn't want to bother you. The fridge is so empty. Did you make anything? I couldn't prepare anything at all. There is not foodstuffs in this kitchen. I just managed to arrange something for the kids to eat before going to bed. But remember, I told you the other day that we've ran out of foodstuffs. That's true. You said so. And more so, there is a short note from our kids' school, for the outstanding fee to be paid, with only grace of two days. Ah, oh, all my effort to make money today was not fruitful. I didn't get any job today. What do we do now? I am honestly confused right now. Maybe I should reach out to Rejoice, my friend, to lend us some money. But the issue now is, when can you pay back so I could be sure not to disappoint her? That would be good, if you can reach to her. But the issue is, can she raise $500 urgently? Let me give it a try first. Meanwhile, there is just a small portion of rice in the pot, you will manage it. What about you? Don't worry, I'm alright for the night. Okay then. Let me have it. Charity, my friend, what is the issue, this one you wanted to see me urgently? You didn't want to say the thing over the phone. Rejoice, yes, it's not something I wanted to tell you over the phone. It about family matters, we need urgent cash to settle some pressing needs. I was hoping if you can lend me $500, I will repay you back in one month's time. Oh, I see, but you could have just told me earlier. The issue now is, I just restocked my goods and I don't have that amount right now. I could have asked my husband, but he has a project at hand that he has invested his money into. All I can raise for you now is $100, and if you can pay back within the time period, you said. Charity, you are back. How did it go? Well, I couldn't get the money completely. She was able to lend me only $100. I don't know how we are going to do now to raise this money. I think I need to go see Humphrey, let's see if he could help out. David, how are you doing, and how is family? Humphrey my friend, I can only thank God for another daylight. Please I really need your help. What and how exactly do you need my help? I need some money to sort out urgent needs. If you can lend me $400 I will pay back by the end of the month. End of the month you said? Yes. There is something I am expecting. It would drop by then. I will pay you back. Okay, no problem. Have it. But try to comply as you said. I will. Thank you so much for this. I am grateful. Sign number one, when you struggle to borrow money, just to settle daily expenses. The decision to borrow money to cover day-to-day -day expenses marks a reluctant step into a cycle of uncertainty. Initially, it seems like a lifeline, a temporary solution to immediate needs. Yet, as time goes on, the weight of borrowed burdens begins to exact its toll. The true cost of borrowing becomes painfully clear. What began as a temporary solution morphs into a long-term struggle, a battle against an ever-rising tide of interest and obligation. Dreams deferred and opportunities lost become the bitter fruits of a bargain struck in desperation. This is certainly, the spirit of poverty, hiding in the shadows, and whispering softly about fast solutions and short-term comfort. The assurance of God is clear, in Deuteronomy 15. 
6. For the Lord your God will bless you as he has promised, and you will lend to many nations but will borrow from none. You will rule over many nations but none will rule over you. It's as past one month now, I am yet to hear from Charity. She told me with full assurance, that she will return my money by the month end. But it's already a month and two weeks. She is not even taking my calls. I think I have to pay her a visit tomorrow after the close of business. David, I have been calling you since two days now. But you wouldn't respond. Humphrey, I am sorry. It wasn't my intention to ignore your calls. That's the reason I'm here. So, do you have my money? The truth is, the business I was hoping on is yet to materialize. I don't have your money yet. I came to plead with you, for more time to look for another source in order to pay you. You see, this is exactly what I was asking you, and you did assure me. Now it's more than a month, this is what I get to hear from you. I am so sorry Humphrey. Please just give me some time I will definitely find the way. David, to be honest with you, I am not happy with this. I can only give you just one week to get my money. I won't appreciate further excuses please. Honey, who is at the door? It's Rejoice, my friend. What are we going to do now? We don't have her money. Go, and see her then. She is already here. And I am very sure she knows we are inside. Please you should go to the room while I go see her. Oh, Rejoice. It's you. Why are you surprised, seeing me in your house? I am not surprised, just I wasn't expecting you. Please, come in. No, I didn't come to sit. Charity, you surprise me. And at the same time, I am very disappointed at you. It's been over a month, and you failed on your promise to repay my money. And not just that alone. I know how many times I called you, but all you did was to ignore my calls. It's not what you think, Rejoice. The truth is, I didn't know exactly what to tell you all along, because the money is not yet available. Where my husband planned to source the cash, didn't work out as expected. That's why I couldn't brace up to take your calls, but I was planning to come see you to explain things. Charity, this is not good at all. Whatever it is, you should be free to talk to me, but your silence sends a different signal to me, and you wouldn't blame me for any decisions I take now. Please, I am so sorry. I didn't mean things this way, kindly give me some times. Please I will be back in the next five days. Do not spoil our good friendship due to this. And you already know, that money I gave to you, is part of my business money. Please I wouldn't entertain any story, for this. Number 2. When paying off debt becomes very difficult, or impossible. When it's really hard or even impossible to pay off debt, it's like being stuck in a trap called poverty. It feels like you're suffocating, always struggling to just get by. No matter how hard you try to get out, something always gets in the way, making you feel more hopeless. As you owe more money and have less to work with, the problem just gets worse. It's like a heavy weight dragging you down, making it even harder to break free from this cycle of poverty. Trying to become financially stable seems like a far-off dream that's almost impossible to reach, unless something big changes to help out. Has she gone? Yes. She really came, very furious. And I can't fault her for that reactions. I am just tired of this situation, honestly. David, how are we going to handle this right now? Because, Rejoice gave me only five days to get ready, her money. And the way I saw her today, the next time she comes here might not go well, if that money is not provided. What do I say about Humphrey, who I took the larger part from? Humphrey gave me just one week too. 
and it's just remaining few days to the deadline. I am seriously confused right now. This whole issue is looking more serious and difficult than we are seeing it. I think I have figured out something. What exactly did you figure out? Don't bother yourself, Charity. I need to go check on something right now. David, welcome to my home. Thank you, Peter. It's been a little while. Yay, you know I have not been much around though. You know, work stuffs can occupy time, a lot. I would have gone out before now, if not that you called earlier. Yes, you are right. And thanks for waiting. So what is it you wanted to tell me? And, I hope it's not going to take so long, because I just got a call for a meeting. Well, Peter. I need your assistance. If you can lend me $750, I have some family pressing needs, and right now I don't have any Kobo to sort them. $750. When do you think you can return it, please? Within the next one month, please. Well, no problem, please hold on for a minute. Let me get the cash inside. Thank you so much. Humphrey, my friend. Oh, David, you are here. Yes. I came to clear my debt to you. Here is your $400. And thank you so much. Wow, it's all right. Thank you for paying back too. David, you are so full of smile. What's the news? You know, that time I told you, I was going to check on something. I went straight to see one of my friends though he is not always around. So what happened? To cut short, the long story. He loaned me $750. And I have paid Humphrey, the $400 I took from him. Yes. And here is the balance. You will take $100 and pay your friend rejoice. Then we will use the rest to get some stuffs for the house. Should I be happy now, or, I should be sad? Sign number 3. Taking a loan, to pay off another loan. Borrowing money to pay back another loan is something many people do when they're short on cash. But doing this can keep you stuck in a cycle of debt, making you feel like you're always struggling to get by. Instead of getting ahead, it can make your money problems worse, making you rely on borrowing just to make ends meet. This shows how being in debt can make it hard to break free and save for the future. To really improve your situation, you might need to change how you think about money and make a plan to manage it better. If you notice any of these signs, take action quickly to break free from the cycle of poverty. Recognizing the warning signals early can help you avoid sinking deeper into financial hardship. Act swiftly to change your financial habits and mindset, paving the way for a more secure and prosperous future. Thank you for watching. I invite you to support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Like this video and share it with your friends and family. Together, we can reach even more people and continue to spread positivity and inspiration. God bless you.